very much uh, baby boomers potential idea and outlook. And in fact, the, it depends on how much entrepreneurial spirit each boomer may have. And there's a whole variety of entry level uh, activity involved in integrating agriculture into the urban suburban fabric that we're doing. And I think that's the key is that in some of the communities we have an AM farmer program, which is basically you can sign up from early in the morning, you know, 5.30 or 6 when we're out there. You may uh, work for three or four hours. It's all paid. You get trained to be farmer. You learn how to do that, but you don't have the responsibility of the farm, but you're there in the community uh, where the farms are and actually quite integral to the operation or potentially uh, that has very little risk. In fact, that's just being in the community, accessible and willing to work and uh, take on a new knowledge base about food and agriculture and how it works. Uh, we call it the AM Farmer Program because most of it would take place in the morning because farming takes place in the morning. So that's an entry level thing that virtually would cost you nothing by living in the you know community that, that has the opportunity all the way to the other end of the spectrum where most of the communities we create actually have um, very uh, lucrative or potentially very lucrative agricultural operations at a very specific scale, two to ten acres roughly is the estimate, but it depends on what you grow. Last night we were uh, with a couple that are out have contacted us immediately. They already have a way to sell all the hops they could possibly grow to brewers that they know in their network, and they are looking to become a uh, hops farm. And uh, that's what we do, is set up the infrastructure for them. Um, they are boomers, very much so, and they, one is a, a professional who's, uh, you know, this is what they want to do for the remainder of their and, and I think the boomer generation, I mean, just being productive is just a huge draw for people, you know, as they change, you know, getting older, what am I going to do with the rest, second, you know, the last third of my life, mm -hmm. and, um, and like you said, with the, if they have resources, you know, they should, may or may not, but when they do, it takes some of that pressure off, and farming's, you know, not, that risk so right. it's kind of you can actually do it and see over time oh over these five year period wow I had a good year I had a, not a great year two really great years and you know so and as you learn Most have been in business, you know, or worked, or what you know. They have a they they have a lot of life's uh, wear and tear under their belt. They already know how things, you know, and they also have uh, potentially enough resource to see the entrepreneurism through, you know. And that's like I say, that's takes it takes some durability. It's not, you know, it's not uh, it's a challenge, but that's the that's the beautiful thing.